I put on pants for this. Actually, technically I put on pants because I was supposed to hang out with someone and then that fell through. So, I'm, I'm still wearing pants and I hate it. Anyways, hello, welcome back to the vlog. It has been forever since I picked up the camera to vlog vlog. I've picked it up to get clips here and there that I'll throw in random places <laughs> when it makes sense, but I think it's been, well, I mean, I was gonna say, I think it's been like since the 28th of September, except I did bring my camera out to Blind Channel last weekend, but it wasn't this camera, it's my GoPro, so that's why it feels different. Anyways, hello, welcome back, welcome to this camera, and um, it's, it's, it's late in the day, it's like 4 p.m., but I'm very excited because today is Friday and I'm actually now off until Tuesday, which means I have Saturday, Sunday, Monday off to do things. And I think one of the things I'm really excited for this weekend is to try out my embroidery machine for the first time. And that's one of those clips I have recorded, but not in a vlog vlog. So like, here it goes. Well, hello and welcome to the vlog. It is a very late start. It is 4 p.m. on a Monday. I woke up this morning and I had a staff meeting at 10, which ran from like 10 until 10.30, all, all virtual. So it was kind of nice because I got to like show off my new setup with my fancy microphone and this camera set up as my webcam. So that was good. And um, then I streamed for a bit, which you should check out my stream link down below. Um, I haven't streamed for like five months, which is kind of insane, but we, um, we're getting back to that, I guess. I guess. I think we're getting back to it. Um, the problem was I was gone for like almost three full months, I would say. And I didn't stream for like a month before I left because I was so busy with doing other things. And then, um, and then I didn't really stream when I got back because I went back to Blind Channel. And now it's October. I don't know what happened, but very exciting getting into the games there. I had nobody show up. I had one person for a short period of time, um, which is totally fine because, you know, you gotta start somewhere. If you're streaming to yourself, that is totally okay. But that's not the reason I picked up the camera. Like I said, I wasn't gonna vlog today, but you might be able to see this box beside me. This is a very exciting box. This is my embroidery machine. It's the um, Innovis hmm, NS11. 50E. So the reason that I went with this one, because I'm no expert, obviously, I have no idea what I'm doing, but the reason that I went with this one specifically is I went with Brother because my sewing machine is a Brother and I had, I mean, I had questionable customer service with them. I've gone over this. They were like, we'll process the um, claim on your printer. And I'm like, it's a sewing machine. Um, <laughs> but at the end of the day, they did send me a refurbished, but basically brand new um, a sewing machine, so that's exciting. And then I went with this model in particular because it is not a sewing machine embroidery combo. It is just a straight up embroidery machine. And I figured that made the most sense because then I can, I have a sewing machine already, so I can sew with my sewing machine while this does its embroidery thing. And then I felt like I wouldn't have to go back and forth um, with switching from sewing to embroidering to sewing to embroidering. So that's the plan. We're going to open this up. I have no idea where I'm going to store it. I legitimately almost bought a serger the other day. And the only reason I didn't was because I was like, where are you even going to put the embroidery machine? So we, we took a pause from the cause on that, but there's a serger coming at some point. I can promise you that. So without further ado, let's um open this guy up. Okay. So Obviously, the problem with this thing being so large is I'm not really sure the best way to do it. So we're just going to open it up and kind of see as we go. And am I using a nail file instead of um, scissors? <laughs> Absolutely. I'm like on the subject of nail files. Like, look how nice my nails are looking. I've been trying to be really good at keeping them filed down so they don't break. And so far, so good. Like, knock on wood, I legitimately have no wood nearby. Okay. All right. We're opening it. Let's see if I do this, then it'll sit under my desk. Okay. So first thing first, we have what looks like a lot of information, probably warranty stuff, etc. This I believe is the dust cover, which will be great because like my sewing machine, I'll show you, excuse the mess, but the sewing machine is in my toy box right here. And my toy box obviously has a lid, so it's great. It's my sewing box now, it's perfect, but I don't need to be so a dust cover will be key. 
This is a, one of the frames, or maybe it's the only frame it comes with. Um, I can buy extra and I probably will. So this goes onto the one side so it can go ju -ju -ju back and forth. And then I'm assuming this thing is to line stuff up so you can like make sure everything's perfect. This is gonna be a learning experience for sure. Looks like it comes with some thread, which is nice. I did already buy some thread, but you know, can't go wrong with more thread. We've got a power cable. Oh, what's this? These must be like the extra foots or feet, feet. They're called feet. Okay, let's see. Let's see what comes with this. Okay. This is a net to go over your spool so it doesn't unravel. That is to help clean your uh, machine. A screwdriver, which is probably necessary. Another screwdriver. <laughs> a stitch ripper. I have so many of these. One bobbin two bobbin, three bobbins. Um, I wonder if the other bobbins that I have are compatible as well. I guess we'll find out. <laughs> um, needles, looks like it comes with two extras. Uh, a, a, a spool stop thingy, a larger spool stop thingy. These are much nicer than the scissors that came with the other uh, brother machines that I got are. They look so pretty. Okay, you can go back in there. This is to remove the plate um, where the bobbin sits under. This is a thing, look at it, a thing. <laughs> and then this is looks like to wind bobbins maybe. I don't know, we'll find out. Again, we're gonna be doing a lot of reading before we even start this or like watching videos or something. All right, styrofoam remove. Alrighty, look at that. So. This is the embroidery tray side thing. I don't know what to call it, but it's like the extension that holds the embroidery thing. This thing goes back and forth to embroider. And then this is the actual machine. Let me um, pull it out. Cause like, that's gonna be a struggle and give me a sec. Alrighty, so here it is. It's so pretty. It is huge. Like, <laughs> my sewing machine goes to about there. But this one's also right here. It's probably about the same width. Here it's quite a bit fatter and obviously it's bigger there. Does this lift? I don't know. Let's do some ASMR or whatever. Ooh. I don't even know if you can hear that because of where my mic is. Um, I'll just, I guess, pull these off. kind of satisfying but also it like jumped too much anyway so this is the part that apparently you do not touch so we're not gonna touch it but this is where the hoop sticks onto and then it just goes with that exact sound all right we got the little styrofoam protecting the needle we'll just do uh, my room is just a trash caster okay um you know what i should probably pull this out I need two hands hold. So neat feature I discovered under here, there's a latch right there. I cannot do this with one hand, um, but above the screws there, you pull that and it releases. So that is good. Also, this is super heavy. Also, look, hey, it's Valkyrie streaming. We love her. Anyways, let's keep pulling these things. Let's attempt to pull these things. Oh my goodness. Where does this even go? Unsatisfying. And, and Annetta. And one more. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> Loving my nails, not so much for this. Okay, there's a fourth bobbin in there as well, so that is nice to know. Ba -doo -ba -doo. All right, so that part seems like normal use to. Um, I think this actually has um, has a thread cutter, which is nice. That's one thing that I wish I had on my machine, but you know, my machine has um, a thread cutter thing back here. I don't know what this does. It says nine or down. This has a B on it. That has a seven. Oh, nine must means it goes over. Oh, that's an eight. That is, that is an eight. That is not a B. Okay, makes sense. <laughs> so, I have no idea how to thread this. 
It's got to be up here though, right? Something like handle. <laughs> um, this must come off. I'm going to try to pull this off. There we go. So there was another piece of tape over here holding it on. So I'm assuming this is where you wind your bobbin, which is good because I was like, do I have to wind it on my own machine? But this makes so much more sense. So put your spool on here and then you go this way if you're winding a bobbin or you go etc <laughs> and then I'm guessing you go eight and then back somehow I don't know we'll figure it out we will read but anyways so here's my embroider machine very exciting very expensive hopefully worth it I so here's the situation was this pricey yes I got it on Penelope sewing machines, um, or like Machina Kudra, depending, you know, it's, it's in Quebec. Um, I ordered it in some, sometime in August, I'm not sure when, and then they ordered it in for them because they don't keep stock of it. And then from there, once it got to them, then they sent it to me. So like, it was like a two month lead time, but honestly, not the end of the world. I was so busy. <laughs> I was everywhere. I was doing so many things. So like the waiting didn't suck for me. It says it's normally like a $1,800 machine, I think, and I got it for $1,200, so good sale price there. <laughs> and yeah, that's a lot of money for sure. Absolutely. I get it. Um, I don't just go dropping <laughs> money willy-nilly on things I want, but also like at the end of the day, they are, they're things I want, and so I'm, just, I'm, I'm gonna treat myself. I'm not gonna be like, <sighs> you know, all I, all I do in life is work and then just pay bills because no, I want to work and I want to do cool things. And I want an embroidery machine for a couple of reasons. One, because embroidering font I find takes quite a while and um, I would like to embroider a lot of stupid fonts and quotes and stuff on shirts and so I was like, an embroidery machine will make that a lot faster. Two, the speed. <laughs> like, so... Where is it? Over here. This is probably a good example. So this, the frogs I made. So I would guess that just doing the black outlines for those frogs probably took about three to four hours. So if I'm, and then like say it's like 15 hours total is I think what I estimated for that thing. To sell that and to actually make a profit or at least make enough money that you feel like your time was well compensated would be like $300 for that bag. Nobody's going to pay $300 for that bag. However, if I design similar things and put them on a bag, I can make them a lot faster. And so that was part of my thought too. Like obviously I'm still going to do things in hoops like I legitimately just did weather top the other day. Um, I don't love it, <laughs> but I did it. Um, but just like stuff like that and like the freedom to experiment more. And I'm, I'm very excited to see what I can do with this. Um, I was talking to some of my bosses at Blind Channel. They're like, we could just send you the shirts to embroider. I'm like, technically, yes, if I could figure out the, the design, like it should be fine. I could probably do that. So like, that'd be nice too, because then why send money to somebody else when you can kind of keep it in house, keep it with someone, you know, so that'd be exciting. But Mostly I just want to basically trash text quotes is the main reason I bought this. And for me, it's worth spending that money <laughs> for that. I mean, that was the unboxing. So I'm very excited to play with that. I'm hoping to test it out this weekend. But before I do that, I feel like I need to do some cleaning. I know I like always say that, but finally I am not going back to Blind Channel for at least a couple months. I got my last paycheck from my seasonal employment, which was great um, because I was like, I would really like my vacation pay. I don't need it. I just want it. Um, so there's like this tote here of stuff from the summer and probably also from the other two times I went back that I have not unpacked yet and I can unpack that. Also like everything, it's just, that's coming along nicely, but garbage it's just it's it's bad <laughs> it's real bad part of it is definitely because 
one, I've been like, <sighs> I've been back to blind, I left blind channel, went back a week later, left blind channel again, went back two weeks later. And then I've just been working like crazy when I have been in town. So that's part of the problem. Secondly, I have started streaming again, which is awesome. Um, I have some fun new setups going on. Um, I did an unboxing for some of them. They're not fully set up, but I'll, um, pop that clip in here. All right. Hello. Vlogs are like a mess right now. And I don't know where this clip is going to go. Um, but it's something cool and exciting that I got and I'm unboxing it now. So I want it to, uh, film for the memories. So I started streaming again recently and I forgot how much I loved it. Oh my God. I <laughs> streamed the other day for an hour had technical difficulties the following day, so I couldn't stream. Nothing was working. It was like an hour of several different things and troubleshooting them. And then I never resolved it. And then today I was like, let's just see if it'll work. And then it worked. Is this not working? <laughs> I'm gonna be real sad if this does not work. <laughs> I mean, it's gonna be hilarious. And then, <laughs> Yesterday it worked perfectly fine. I was like a stream for a little bit. I ended up streaming for three hours and I had so much fun and I'm devastated that I'm too busy today and I'm going away this weekend so I can't stream today because like it is 420 and um, I still need to do laundry. I still need to shower. I still need to pack <laughs> and I need to like hello. That's a mess. But anyways, I ordered myself two really cool things that one I've been thinking about getting for a really long time and the other one I think will be very useful to have um, going forward as I continue streaming because like I said, it's something I love and so I'm just gonna keep doing it. So here's the two things. Actually, you know, here's the one thing. This is the thing that I was, have been contemplating for a while. It is the Elegato Stream Deck. It's the uh, 15 button one. I was torn between the 15 and the 32, but honestly, I don't need a 32 button one hold for sirens and you can actually set different profiles so it's kind of unlimited as to what you can do so i got this which i'm very excited for i have some macros on my corsair keyboard but i feel like this will just give me an easier ability to swap back and forth between things and to that end one of those things that would be cool to swap back and forth to is my capture card <laughs> so i got the elgato hd 60s capture card i was torn between this one and the 60 plus or 60 s plus but honestly i couldn't really find that anywhere for sale so we just we went with this one the main thing i've wanted to get one of these for a while because i have a bunch of um switch games the main thing that pushed me um over the edge with this is <laughs> nintendo switch online is about to come out with some 64 games and some games i really love and some games that i would love to replay and play on stream so i was like you know what do it so we did it <laughs> um which is very exciting also i probably haven't mentioned this yet but i got another monitor <laughs> can we i don't know if i can show this because like the camera is stationary anyways i i have my 24 inch monitor that i got in march and i just happened to be looking at monitors and there was, they were on sale, the Samsung, which is the same version I got, and, um, but they didn't have the 24, so I got 27. So now I have directly under the camera here, I have a 27 inch Samsung, I can't remember the exact specs, there. <laughs> and I have my 24 inch over there, which is amazing. I used to monitor my stream on my laptop, and I have my laptop here. This is so much nicer, because if I need to make changes, I don't need to go blah, blah, blah. I can just go blah. <laughs> and then over here, I still have my RCA. TV, which is great to just monitor. Um, what the heck is my software that I use to stream? <laughs> Streamlabs, that's it. So I just keep it up there so I can monitor and kind of just make sure everything's going good. And then I have the Twitch on the side and the game here. So it's amazing. We are just moving up in the world. And to that end, let us open this. Did it, but uh, <laughs> come on, my friend. Oh, it's so pretty. I mean, I've seen these before we have one at the theater we have the um larger one at the theater and i looked at it several times and went no that's too big for me so here is the actual little stream deck it's got the 15 buttons i like uh, their button feel which is great i'm a very tactile person and i have issues with some 
<laughs> sensory inputs, as we may know if you've been around for a while. So it's nice that those feel nice. And then you got your little stand that you can just put it in and it's adjustable. So that is a very nice. So we will set that up later. I'm trying to figure out where to plug it in. It might be long enough that I'll reach back there, but one of the issues somebody had is you can't plug it into a USB hub or at least not to theirs because um, it just wouldn't wake up. So that's a problem. That's not a problem. That's an exciting thing for later, but in all honesty, <laughs> there's a good chance I will not get to that before I leave tomorrow, which is fine. And then this one, I almost didn't actually, you know what? I was gonna buy this one and not the other one. And then there was a bundle, which was the same price as buying them individually. But I'm like, I looked, I'm like, same price. And then I was like, you know what? Just do it because it's hilarious. What did I buy? I bought something recently that I was like, I'm gonna buy this because I need to focus more on not streaming because I haven't been streaming and like buy things unrelated to streaming. Like I bought myself some pinking shears and stuff. And then I just bought everything anyway. <laughs> I, um, I, enjoy, I enjoy gifting myself things that bring me joy. So here it is, woo, very nice. Um, I'm probably gonna have to, it's got a little bit of like scuff marks on it, which is not cool. So hopefully it's not like a returned model. I'm sure it'll be fine. Um, I need to figure out where to set up my Nintendo Switch because right now it's on this thing right here behind me up at the top, but obviously not would not be ideal to run things. So we'll have to figure that out. Um, and then we've got some cables and look, a sticker. So very exciting. I am jazzed to just uh, stream more. I'm just, it makes me so happy. Um, and I've decided to, the reason that I'm all uncertain about vlogs and when things are going up is I have so many vlogs that are edited and going up. And so I kind of want to bring them back to more of a present time thing. And so in order to do that, I just haven't really been vlogging. Uh, I think I have like one vlog on this camera to edit, uh, one on my GoPro. No, I transferred that already. And then I'm currently vlogging for the weekend, but like I have been like pretty hands off on that. And so much stuff is edited and I just want to spend this month just streaming and just having fun and just, yeah. So I'm really excited. If you can't tell, like my face hurts from smiling so much because I love streaming so much. <sighs> but I'm really excited to play games like, um, Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. I think, is that the 64 one? I can't remember. But anyways, I'm going to go now, <laughs> get back to the rest of the vlog, whatever the heck is happening. And um, I will see you when I see you, literally in two seconds. <laughs> it's exciting to have these things I want forever. And like, honestly, I can tell you that I am obsessed with my stream deck. I'll probably do like an update at setup or something at some point because, oh yeah, I have two monitors now as well. I think that's new. And um, I got a second camera. This is the Razer Kayo uh, with the ring light. I got it for days when I'm too lazy to put this one up or if I wanna have the option of multiple angles. It doesn't seem like a lot has changed, but so much has changed in that time. So yeah, I think the plan for today is gonna be make that to start and then just deal with this. Like there's garbage in here. Um, I th I think I need, to, so there's my embroidery machine. I think I need to like hang those back up on the wall or get rid of them or something because it, it just, it doesn't work anymore. And then clothes, I have to do laundry, but it's like pouring rain today and I, I don't want to be out there. So um, yeah. Oh, and I bought a bunch of fabric. Oh my goodness, guys, like <laughs> it's insane. I, I went hard at the fabric store. I have a problem. We know this, but I went like, um, <laughs> $350 hard. I got that, which is pretty in that. I got a bunch of basics, um, for like liners and stuff or whales. Look, look how pretty this is. Um, speaking of whales, before we continue with this, bam, here's the clip of the whale I made. Alrighty. So I'm not vlogging today, but I figure I can put this footage somewhere else. I finished the whale, the whale. It's complete. He has one eyeball. <laughs> he has two eyeballs and he's just done. Maybe it's a girl, who knows? Anyways, he's having a good time. There are things I would do differently if I did it again, 
One, <laughs> I think I, I sewed the V here too high. Two, I struggled with the batting in the tail. And three, because of the fabric choice on the bottom, I struggled to close them up. It's real shoddy, but that's okay. <laughs> it's made with love. That's what matters. So he has done, I have a box here from Amazon conveniently that I think he's going to fit in perfectly. <laughs> perfectly. Um, and then I'll just close it up and wrap it. And then that can go. I got a card the other day for um, the girl in blind child whose birthday it is. So soon she will have it, which is very exciting. But yeah, anyways, I'm out now. Continue with the rest of whatever vlog this is going in. <laughs> okay, so as you can see, so whale outer, whale outer, <laughs> whale inner maybe. <laughs> Same with like this, whoops. So I just got like a lot of um, complimentary colors and fun patterns. This I got for maybe making a bag for myself, like the inside, but then I picked another fabric that it might go well with. Oh, there's a helicopter. I don't know if you can hear it. And then like this is basically the same color as, or the same pattern as the whale, just a different color. <laughs> and then I got this one. And then I got that one. And then the, the, the thread was on sale. It was buy one, get one. So I got some thread. <laughs> oh, yeah. So I have to wash that as well. But anyways, <laughs> lots has happened. It's crazy. I'm today. I'm going to just try to get my room organized, I think, because it's kind of very much out of control. And then from there tomorrow, I've got things to I already I did reach out to Shaw because I have to return this modem so I did that today so I've got a shipping label so I've been moderately productive uh, I was contemplating going to a um, craft fair because uh, I'd seen it a while ago and it's full now so that's my bad um, <laughs> so I have done things and um, tomorrow was like laundry and clean my room. But if I do that today, then I can like do a bunch of streaming tomorrow. So I think that would be exciting. And then I've got to start editing videos again soon because I still have a couple more going up, but I have filmed a few here and there. So that's what's going on with me. That is the update. <sighs> it's so crazy. And now I think I'm gonna get out of these pants because why would I wear pants when I can wear sweatpants or pajamas? Ooh, I was gonna go for sweatpants, but now maybe pajama pants. And um, then I think it's time to get into the, the cleaning. <laughs> Well, it is significantly better. I can find my floor. I moved the pictures, so now it's just the embroidery machine there, which honestly, I think that's just where it's gonna have to live, at least for now. Um, fabric beside it. Desk is mostly clear. The biggest situation is my store stuff <laughs> that I still need to put away. I've got away the scrunchies, the lanyards. Is that it? Yeah, um, <laughs> so I have the cotton pads and the wristlets to put away, but 
future future problem and then over here the pants that I put on I'm in my Baham pug pajamas now and then these shirts are actually going to be a sewing project which I just haven't gotten to yet <laughs> so I almost bought a serger just for that and then I decided hey maybe just buy some pinking shears because I've wanted pinking shears forever but I'm the worst I'm like I'm not gonna spend $40 $50 on a pair of scissors but oh my goodness I got them and even just for trimming my embroidery pieces huge difference then they don't fray it's amazing so anyways um the plan is to cut these both in half and then sew them together I can't remember if I mentioned that before um so I figured pinking shears would be less of a risk of it fraying, which is exciting. I'm currently watching um, Valkyrie stream as bad for blood or something. I don't know. I can't remember. I guess I could pause it and it would tell me. Back for blood. I was very close. And um, just chilling. It is a nine o'clock. I might be done for the day with the cleaning. I would love to find somewhere to put this. And <laughs> honestly, I was like, hey, this... This has storage in it. It's full of fabric. <laughs> I have a problem. We know that though, but we shall see. Anyways, if that's the worst of it, that's not so bad. So I'm just gonna continue watching this for a bit, chill, and then maybe be slightly productive. I'm not, I'm not really sure. I just spent like six minutes trying to get my road mics to go on and <laughs> I could get my transmitter to go on and it apparently can't get to go off but I couldn't get my receiver to go on that's the biggest design flaw of these things anyways it's um like 10 after 10 my bed's basically clear except for a couple clothes it's as good as it's gonna get but I thought I'd take this moment because I talk about like my sensory processing issues sometimes and like normally it's just a couple things but right now it is literally everything anything that touches my skin so like I'm wearing clothes but even just like breathing if I breathe on my skin it's just the worst feeling ever right now like I just I want to scratch my skin off and it's it's not enjoyable so that's what I've been going through for like the last probably 20 minutes at least I had that sweater on over there I thought it was that sweater but it turns out it's just my skin and like I've tried to explain to people before like I wear jeans sometimes, mostly it's sweats now, but I wear jeans and 99% of the, the time my skin is fine with jeans and like my brain doesn't freak out, but that 1% of the time I just need to get the jeans off. So I think I'm going to jump in the shower and see if like water helps somehow because I really like, I think I just suffer through this. I really don't know. It's been a long time since it's been like this bad, but like literally everything that is touching my skin is the worst <laughs> and I will just scratch as as you might be able to hear so I'm gonna jump in the shower here and um see if <laughs> that resets my skin or something oh I hate everything update the robe is better than anything else touching my mouse pad terrible robe better alrighty I'm feeling much better now honestly the robe probably did the most <laughs> because usually my tactic for like, if I touch something that I do not like, usually my tactic is to touch something that I do like the feel of. And so I was just like panicked because everything sucked. Um, still a little bit, my ankles especially, and it's I think it's just because my pants are like barely grazing my ankles, whereas like, just, it's better if it's full on touching. <laughs> anyway. Um, it's probably enough that I can get to sleep. I got my weighted blanket, that should help as well. And I still have the nice, like, shiny, cool um, cover on it at the moment. It's getting to the point where I'm like, I should probably switch to the um, wintry type one because <laughs> it's like, it's a massive storm going on outside. I think it's supposed to rain for like the next several days. Let me just double check. Yeah, it looks like it's supposed to rain until Monday. I actually got off work today at like one o'clock and um, instead of leaving the theater and catching the bus or like going and getting myself some food or something, I ordered into the theater and I just waited at the theater until my mom's boyfriend got off because it was like a torrential downpour and I was just not here for taking the bus and that. So I just uh, watched YouTube and uh, ate McDonald's. <laughs> it was awesome. Anyway, 
it's like midnight so i'm gonna go to sleep now the plan tomorrow is gonna be to sleep in a little bit but not like a crazy amount and then i think stream i downloaded a game called omno um, which looks super cute it's just another like three to four hour one no real enemies like those are the ones that i like the ones that you just go you have a good time and you can't really die <laughs> they're my favorite those and puzzles and like indie games like those are my favorite so i picked up that one today and downloaded it um i should remember to test it because i played the first tree after playing the last campfire and it did not um <laughs> want to pick it up so that was stressful like in the middle of stream to have to be like what is happening uh so i should check that before i start streaming tomorrow but that is the plan at some point this weekend too pam and i are going to test our setup because when we play unravel 2 we have to remote and she remotes into my computer so we're going to test that setup make sure that our audio and everything is a-okay and then hopefully finish that on monday that is the plan i think we should be able to finish it i don't know it's been so long since we played it but that's exciting so omno tomorrow i think which like again these vlogs are quite far behind but you know shameless plug follow my twitch i stream pretty regularly at least at this moment <laughs> and um then unravel 2 and then we'll see what other games we have i've collected a lot so it's just a matter of getting to them but for now i'm gonna go to sleep and i will see you tomorrow Good morning and welcome back to the vlog. It's um, I think it's after 10 now. It's like quarter after 10. Uh, my plan had been to wake up at like 9, 9.30 but not set alarm and so my body could just do it naturally. I did wake up at one point. I went right back to sleep. <laughs> and so when I woke up it was like just before 10. Which is totally fine because obviously I need it. I had, I had this really weird dream about running a marathon. But... The distance of the miles was quite short. It was like run up the stairs and down the stairs <laughs> and that counted. And I think part of it was probably because the other day at work I had to take off all the seat covers and bring them up the stairs and then walk back down the stairs, get more seat covers up the stairs, down the stairs. <laughs> so I'm guessing that's why, but oh my god, my body hurts today. And I'm like, was I twitching <laughs> in my sleep or was I just way more active yesterday at the theater than I realized. I don't know. I did do like 8k or something, maybe 9k. So I don't know. Anyway, we're cooking some leftover nugget potatoes as hash browns this morning. I might make something else, but honestly, this is all I'm feeling right now. And um, then we'll go from there. The hope is to be streaming by probably no later than noon. So that gives me almost two hours. But we will see. I don't know. I'm still quite sleepy as I very recently woke up, but we're good. We're good. It's a, it's, it's a miserable day outside, but we're good in here. Okay, so today has not quite gone as planned. So I think the last I picked up the camera, I was about to get ready to stream. And so I did, but I started my stream and I was like really snuffly at the beginning of it. And I was like, this isn't great. This is really not ideal. Like blowing my nose. I mean, there was nobody there, so like whatever, but it just sucked. That's probably like the first 40 minutes. And then we get to like an hour and 45 and all of a sudden like I am hungry and like I had breakfast. So I was like, I am so hungry all of a sudden and I was 100%ing the chapters. And so I got to this one, I got like 54%, which was all I needed to get through to the next level. And I'm like, I'm out. <laughs> I'm just gonna go to the next level, get my save point, call it. So I was like, yeah, I'm I'm hungry, I'm gonna go. And <laughs> I I can't remember exactly what I said, but I'll um, try to remember to grab the clip and put it in right here. This game is phenomenal and it's cute and I love it, but I'm dying and I need to go do that on my own time. <laughs> and then I did go die. <laughs> I went and I laid on my bed 
and all of a sudden I was just like lightheaded, not feeling great, and then like, you know, get the like saliva in your mouth when you're like about to throw up. And um, so I did that. <laughs> and then I was shaky and not feeling great, and I don't understand, like, I don't have a life, so like, I don't know where this is coming from, like, is it a cold? Like, even when I was, like, stuffed up, I'm like, this doesn't feel like allergies, this feels like maybe a cold, and so I went and I made myself some food, and I kept it down, still questionable, and then I came up and I had a two-hour nap, and oh, right, and this is my second one of these today. Um, the other one wasn't completely full, but I probably only drank like that much. And then I drank the rest today. I texted my mom. I was like, can you bring me more orange juice? So I got more orange juice. I managed to eat dinner, um, but I'm now like super sweaty, which is like weird. I've taken my temperature already today and it was fine earlier. So like, I'm sure it's still fine, right? It's still fine, right? Okay, we're up a bit higher. I was 36.1 earlier. I'm 37 now. So it is up a bit, but I think you're good to like 37.3 or something. I don't know. I don't remember. Um, I am quite warm now though. So had dinner, then just watched some uh, Amazon Prime downstairs because I want to share um, Lula Rich, the documentary, because it's so messed up. So that's what I did. <sighs> and then I just came up here and I brought my orange juice. Not because I'm necessarily a drink at all, but I do have a fridge up here if you don't remember. And I got some snacks and I've got some like soda crackers. I have a bucket beside my bed just in case. And um, I'm just gonna watch something, I guess, and see what happens. I don't know, man, I don't understand. Like, it feels like I'm getting sick, but it's been so long since I got sick that I'm like, so I don't know, maybe I've been working too hard, too much, not sleeping enough, I don't know. So that's where we are. I think I'm just gonna end this vlog here. <laughs> it wasn't the vlog that I thought it was gonna be, but it's the vlog we got and um, I will see you in the next one. <laughs> Good night.